So let's move on to the depression of a freezing point. So depression of freezing point is nothing but reducing its temperature and the property of your solution to the next ground level or bottom level due to the reducing temperature of the overall solution. So let's move on. The lowering of vapor pressure of your solution causes a lowering of the freezing point compared to that of the pure solvent. We know that at the freezing point of a substance, the solid phase is in dynamic equilibrium with the liquid phase. Thus, the freezing point of a substance may be defined as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the substance in its liquid phase is equal to its vapor pressure in the solid phase. A solution will freeze when its vapor pressure equals its vapor pressure of the pure solid solvent as it clear in this picture. According to Raoult's law, when a non-volatile solid is added to the solvent, its vapor pressure decreases. And now it would become equal to that of the solid solvent at lower temperature. Thus, the freezing point of the solvent decreases. So let the TFO be the freezing point of the pure solvent and TF be the freezing point and non-volatile solvent is dissolved in it. So there will be a decrease in freezing point. Delta TF is equal to TFO minus TF. It is known as depression in freezing point. Similar to the elevation of boiling point, depression of freezing point for dilute solution is directly proportional to molality m of the solution. So delta Tf is directly proportional to m and delta Tf is equal to Kf into m. So the proportionality constant Kf which depends on the nature of the solvent and it is known as a freezing point depression constant or molal depression constant or cryoscopic constant. The unit of Kf is Kelvin kilogram per molecule. The values of Kf for some known common solvents are listed in this table. Here is the solvent and here is the Kb value. And this is the boiling point and freezing point. And here is the Kf value. So if W2 gram of the solute of the solute having more molar mass as M2 present in W1 gram of solvent. So which produces the depression in freezing point delta Tf of the solvent. Then molality of your solute is given by the equation M is equal to W2 divided by M2 divided by MW1 divided by 1000. It can be rewritten too as M is equal to this one and as you know delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. So deploying this M over here you will be getting this equation. So solving the equation you will be getting delta Tf is equal to this one and taking the M2 here you will be getting this one. This is the final equation to get the molality of the solute. So thus for determining the molar mass of the solute we should know the quantities W1, W2, delta Tf along with the molar freezing point depression constant. The values of Kf and Kb which depend upon the nature of the solvent can be ascertained from this particular equation. Kf is equal to this one and Kb is equal to this one. So, hence the symbols R and M1 stand for the gas constant and molar mass of the solvent. And Tf and Tb denote the freezing point and the boiling point of the pure solvent respectively in Kelvin. So further, delta FUS into H and delta vapor into H represent the enthalpies for the fusion and vaporization of the solvent respectively.